Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Um, this is a rough time. You didn't need me to tell you that. I didn't mean to overstate the obvious. But I get it. And uh, we're just going to try to take a little segue, segue into something else here instead of talking about the coronavirus, which everyone else is, and rightly so. Um, my heart goes out over everyone's losses. The losses have been tremendous, and it looks like we're going to have more. Um, I've lost a few, and we all have, and I don't mean to complain. I don't care who I am or who I think I am. There's someone having a much harder time than I. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about motorcycles because they're all about fun and we can. So let's have at it here. You know, I originally, oh, wait a minute. I've got to say it. If you're enjoying, if you're enjoying watching our videos, please subscribe. And when you subscribe, be sure and tap on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Okay, now back to the, the, the back to motorcycles, okay? Motorcycles have been one of, if not, I mean, they've been my best escape almost my whole life. I say almost because I couldn't ride a motorcycle when I was an infant shortly thereafter is when it started. Okay, so we're back on to bikes. And I had stated that I was going to show an, another part for this project bike ever, at the end of each video. I was going to show one. And, well, I haven't been real faithful in getting videos out as many as I'd like to. I've uh, been a little bit busy and things have been, it's kind of hard to order parts right now, too. Everything is, a lot of things are at a real standstill. So, what, what I decided to do was see if I could drag out more parts for this bike that I already have. Some of them I've had for a long time. So let's get started on that. Now, I've been waiting to get this front end in and get it straightened, but again, things are at a standstill, and I just haven't been able to get it done yet. But we are going to get the front end straightened and the frame checked out, which has already been straightened. So we're almost ready to start building our mock-up bike. I want to put it all together and then take it apart and finish all of the, say, paint and powder coating and new fasteners and all that sort of thing that I want to do with the final assembly. So we're going to, we're going to put it together piece by piece anyway. So one of the things I wanted to show is I have this beautiful wheel that I've had put away for years for this bike. It's really nice. It has an Italian rim. It has polished stainless spokes. And the hub is an aftermarket piece that is still available. In fact, I'm running them on the knuckle and the pan head. And what these hubs are is instead of having loose rollers like the original Star Hubs did, these have Timken bearings in them. So they're easy to change, easy to service. I like to do things so that I can put a lot of miles on, on my bikes without having to do an awful lot of stuff to them. I like to, when I mount a new tire, I like to put new seals in and pack the bearings with grease. And by doing that with Timken bearings, it works. It's a nice, easy deal, and it's what I like. So on the one side here, they look exactly like the original which I think is just a, a beautiful piece, like the old original Star Hubs. And on the other side is, of course, where the brake, brake drum bolts on. So this will be my rear wheel. It's a 16-incher, and I had it in a box in a plastic bag put away. I think I've had that thing put away for 20, 25 years or more. And it's still brand new, and I've been saving it for this project. Okay, well, we already have the front rim. I need to get another hub to match it. I have spokes, and I can lace up the front wheel. We've already gone over the brakes, which are here. So the next thing is, about 20, 25 years ago, I rebuilt this transmission and put it away for this project. And this is a late 30s or 40s transmission. 
It's got all new bearings in it. It hasn't been polished in a long time, but it is a complete polished case. Originally, the speedometer plugged right in here, and I put a block off plate on there because this was originally going to be a chopper, something I don't think it is now, but back then that's what I wanted to build. So I wasn't going to have a speedometer, don't need no speedo on a chopper. Now I'm thinking I'd like a speedometer on this and all those little nicey creature comforts. Okay, so there is the transmission. Uh, please notice I have a 26 tooth transmission sprocket, which should give it the ultimate high speed freeway cruise with whatever motor we're going to use on this thing. Anyway, also I ran across in my stuff a transmission plate. This one's been chromed. I don't know how well it's going to clean up or if you'll even be able to see it that well in there, but. There is the transmission plate, which goes under the transmission. So instead of showing one part today, I've shown three. We have a transmission all rebuilt and ready to go. We've got the transmission plate for the transmission to mount on. We actually have already shown the battery mounting plate that goes below the oil tank and the oil tank. So we've got everything to go in there and we got everything to go here. You know, building a bike is pretty much just filling up all the holes, so I guess that's what we'll do. So that's all I have to show for today. I'm not really in the mood for turning wrenches today. I think what I'm going to do today is go for a ride. So, till next time, see you out on the road.